Hello and welcome back to another episode of GeoGuessr. My name is Wizzy Zero. You can also call me Wizzy. And today we're going to be continuing with another United States challenge. This challenge is, of course, five minutes. And of course, as always, you can play along with me by finding this link in the description below. That being said, let's get started. Um. I'm not entirely sure right now. I'm going to say maybe n the northeast, but I don't know. Should I go up or should I go down? You know what? Let's go down. Now, I do apologize if I do sound a bit off. Um, I think I'm coming down with a flu or something like that, so my voice is a little raspy. Nose was a little plugged up, but... Hopefully it shouldn't, it won't last too long. If it gets too bad, I may not upload any videos, so. If there are no videos, either Friday or next weekend, then. Or next week. Or whichever, um, you'll know why. I should be able to upload a bit more frequent, uh, frequent frequently um, because I'm all done with work now uh, my work ended well my last day of work was on Thursday what I do is um, only seasonal so our season ended actually it would have been Monday two days ago so all I have to focus on right now is just classes and as long as I can keep up with that, I should be able to keep uploading. But like I said, if I do get sick really bad, then there may not be any videos, but let's hope that doesn't happen. <clears throat> We're definitely not getting anywhere, are we? I don't know if I should have just stuck with going the other direction or not. Oh, excuse me. Now, I still have absolutely no idea where I want to make my guess. Like I, like I said before, I'm thinking maybe the northeast... If I had to pick an actual state, I, may, I might say maybe Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, I don't know. Um, it's really hard to tell. Uh, let's continue this way, I guess. I mean, we're, we are getting somewhere now. More houses. Still in the middle of nowhere, though, but... Now, this could be Maine, too, but I don't think so. Minute 40 left. Still have absolutely nothing to go by. If there's any signs or anything, I can't really read them because of just how bad the camera is. You know what? I'm going to go back for a second. No, there's no paper boxes. Okay. Not like I probably would have been able to read it anyways, so... Just worth a shot, I suppose. Got a minute left. I should probably place a marker here at some point. But I want to look a bit further. You know what, let's place a marker down. I'm going to say maybe somewhere around here. I don't know. Let me just expand this. Like I said, I have no idea. So. It's a guess. It's the best guess I can make, so... I 
mean, I'm sure it's not that road, but whatever. Oh, I may just make, well, I'll let the time run out. Not like if I find anything at this point in time, it's going to help me. So, how far off were we? It was in Virginia. So, let's see. We went... I think I started going this way, but then I turned around and ended up going up here. And we went off to this direction. If I had gone this way and continued to go this way, I would have come into Brandy. But, man, that's a small town, too. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> okay, let's go this direction. I'm thinking maybe the northwest on this one. Maybe Oregon, Washington. Well, maybe Idaho. Somewhere up over on that side there. What was that? Probably won't be able to tell what it was, but... Where was it? Oh, it's up here. I went too far. Is that like a bus stop? That's weird. Well, let's continue on. It kind of looks like a bus stop. Strange. Why would they have a bus stop here? Slow vehicle turn out 1,000 feet. Okay. Wonder if that's for like snow plows and stuff like that where they can turn around. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Hard to say. Um. Yeah, I definitely feeling the northeast on this one. Could also be northern California, but excuse me. In a way, I'm actually feeling more Idaho. I don't know why, but that's what I'm feeling on this one. It feels like we're getting away from everything. So I don't know if I should turn around and go the other way or what. Let's place a marker down. For now, anyways. I'm going to say maybe... Oh, I don't know. Um, somewhere along in here. I don't know. Or, you know what, no, I'm not going to move it. Let's go back. I'm going to go back the other direction for a little bit. No, that's the way we just went. <clears throat> no, I want to continue going this direction. I feel like this is probably the direction I should have gone in the first place, but... Oh well. We got a gas station. Speed limit is 50. Let's continue on. I 
Washington, 138, it looks like. I'm just going to take a look at it. Let's see if we can find it. Um, I don't think we're going to find anything else. So 138. Seem to be mostly east-west. One twenty-four. Wanna kinda of move it down here, I suppose. I don't know. May not be the best idea, but let me put it back there, I suppose. Kind of more towards the center of the state. Yeah, I probably have to zoom in a bit more to see it, but one twenty-three. Yeah, it was up here. It was actually 5.30. So which way did I start going? Did I start going right here? Or did I start going... Or not right, but east? I think I actually started going west. So, but last time we started going east. So there was a gas... Yeah, that's the gas station right there. Well, we were closer than that one, so... Hey, we got a good camera. Speed limit 55. Wow, speed limit 45 over this way, so let's continue the direction where it's 45. some reason in the way this feels like it might be Texas but I don't know I don't think so but like I said I don't know welcome to Hotchkiss the friendliest town around Hotchkiss speed limit 35 25, Colorado, 92. Okay. So we got Colorado, 92. And Colorado, 133. So Hotchkiss, 92-133, see if I can remember that. Seems like a small town. I don't, I feel like there's probably not going to be any like US route or any other major route going through here. There might be something up here, though. Well, maybe not. Okay, let's take a look. I know I'm looking early, but what? whatever. 92 and 133. 72. 79. 71. 59. Hmm. Maybe more, more over this way. 139. 133 and 92. Hotchkiss. Okay. So. We came off over this direction. We're gonna get pretty close on this one. Um. So we went back this way. Kind of a slight bend to the right. Got a bend to the left here. Another bend to the right. This is Queaky Tire 2, which is right there. That's the slight bend to the right. Which is right here. We're kind of on this bend. So 
So I'm going to say maybe about there? Make a guess. 20.7 yards. Okay, we were a little bit more towards the center of the bend, I guess, but... That's fine. Still got a perfect score. Um, man, this looks like it could be, like, Nevada, California. Is this an inner... Well, maybe not. I thought I saw, like, an interstate overpass or something like that, but I guess not. We're definitely in a town. Why did this say dead end? Yes, it did, I suppose. Let's go this way. Might be easier if I just go back and then go the other direction, which is over this way. Yep, okay. Um, Was it just end there? No dumping. interesting. Well, let's go this way. Since this is really the only direction we can go in. See if we can come find the center of town. Unless this is just like a housing area. If that makes sense, I suppose. I don't know. What was this? Do not enter when flooded. Yeah, I don't really think it's going to flood. But you never know. It's good, good. Flash flooding. I mean, when it gets really dry and you get too much water, it's going to start. It's going to flood. So. Because the. Water can, or the ground can only soak up so much water at a time, so if you, like I said, if you get too much at once, it will flood. So, which way should I go from here? I kind of want to actually... This is Arizona. Okay. It's what, like an adopt a highway sign or something like that? I kind of want to go onto this road. So I'm going to. Okay, definitely seems like we're in a town in a way, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's like we're in a town, but there's not much here. What, can we really not go down that way? Can't continue down that way? Why not? Oh. Auto parts racing, really. Is that like a car hauler or something? That's weird. Um. Well, let's kind of go the other way, I guess, then. Actually, let's back it up. What did this say? Copper Creek something. Gated community. Okay, that doesn't help. Residents of Desert Trails RV Park. Hmm. Laura Nobles Bank. Laura Nobles Banks Elementary. Oh, I doubt that's the name of the town. 
So, I don't think we're in Phoenix. Um, I don't know. Let's go up here, I suppose. Probably going to be so far off. Okay, we were down here. Just outside Tucson, in fact. So, we came down this way. I... Did I go this way? I thought I did. But maybe not. I should have kept going straight. <clears throat> oh well. That's fine. Round 5 of 5. Earthworks Division. On potable water. Non-potable water construction vehicle. Do not follow safety in the accident. Hmm. This kind of looks like Maine in a way, but I don't think it is. It's interesting. They have a flagger with a light as well. This really does look like Maine, though. Hmm. Well, that's what I'm going to guess, is we're in Maine. Well, I'm just trying to think where... Well, maybe we're not in Maine, I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Well, I mean, not really hard, but... Feels like Maine. Like maybe Western Maine? Somewhere over here, maybe by Eustis, Rangeley, New Portland, over this way, Moscow maybe. So I'm going to say we're on State Route 4. That is my guess for right now. Let's back it up. What does this truck say? Okay, yes, it is Maine. Area code 207. Um, this truck does not seem to say where in Maine it's from. Oh, that's not going to be where we're necessarily at. Actually, more than likely, it's not where we're at. But at least that way it could give us an idea of where we are at as well. Okay, looks like there's um, skis, uh, Ski Mountain right there. I don't know if that's Sugarloaf or if that's Sunday River. Or if it's Saddleback. Sunday River, actually I don't think that's in Maine. I don't know, might be. But I know like the two big ones are... Saddle, um, yeah, Saddleback and, um, Sugarloaf. Sugarloaf is the big one. But I definitely do want to say we're probably over, like I said, where I was. Maybe up near Rangeley. Because I know Saddleback, I believe, is just north of Rangeley, I believe. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Town line, I think. U.S. Canada border, 37 miles. Okay. Um. Excuse me. I'm going to have to kind of take a closer look, I guess, here in a moment. I don't think we're going to come across anything else. Shooting range. Does it say where we are, though? 
Cumberland, no, Sutton County, or Valley, I mean. So I'm going to say we're probably on 27 here. Cathedral Pines, I've been at that campground before. It's actually a really nice campground. Um, I'd like to go back some point in time, but... Oops, I kind of moved up further, didn't I? That's fine. Actually, might be more... I don't know. I don't think that's... Unless we're up here on 201. No, we were back here. Okay. Oh, Carabasset Valley. On the other side of Eustis there. Okay, well, I was right in the, about the area. Um, 23.4 miles off. But hey, that wasn't too bad. Um, our best round was actually in Colorado. Which is funny. Because, um, of course, Maine, that's where I live. Um, like I said, I live more just outside Bangor here in this area. But, you know what? That's not too bad. There, of course, this was our worst ground. Um, I mean, we weren't going to find anything there. In the Arizona one, I mean, we got kind of mixed up. But that's fine. Um, that's not all that bad. 18,243 points. Um... Our worst round, like I said, was 629.9 miles. But, yeah, what can you do, I suppose? Um, but anyways, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And of course, as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!